Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man. And I'm big edge with another video, man. New media notification game. God's what? what it is, man. Look, you know what I'm saying? I be trying to be cool, bro. And I don't be trying to make videos when I see shit in the comment section or my comment section because I don't be liking niggas trying to fill their dicks or bitches filling their pussy thinking like they really doing something astronomical out here. But I do have to say this because this is not the first time somebody said this to me. This is probably the hundredth time somebody got at me saying this fuck shit. And I ain't make no videos about it because I don't be trying to do too much about certain this type of shit. But this is a nigga just had enough of the shit, bro. Because I'm tired of hearing that shit from motherfuckers. Because I'm black and shit. Look, check this out. Blind loyalty isn't loyalty. So just because you black don't mean I'm finna follow you or support you just because your skin color is the same as mine or resembles my complexion. Period. So, to the person or to the people that say shit like, um, I need to be on cold and, and, and these white motherfuckers or these Mexican motherfuckers ain't gonna do the same thing for me and I'm vouching for these. Bro, check this out. I've had motherfuckers say that shit when I was talking about Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, I had motherfuckers say that shit when I was talking about Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. When I was talking about Tyson Fury with Deontay Wilder, I was just talking about skill-wise. It had nothing to do with Tyson Fury's complexion. That'd be y'all problems, you casual bitch-ass niggas that like to use that and say, oh, because I'm talking about Fury or I'm bigging up Fury or I'm saying something in a positive light about Fury. Oh, I'm on the white boy side now. I'm not on code. I ain't for no fighter. All you bitch ass niggas, because I don't feel like typing that shit, because everybody that's sending that shit is bitch ass niggas to me, because y'all don't even know what the fuck my channel is a fucking about. My channel is not to big up no one fighter. So when I say what I say about Terrence Crawford, it's not because I'm a so-called fan of him. I'm looking at the trajectory of the playing field, and I'm looking at what's going on, and I'm looking at how niggas is moving, and there's nothing that Errol Spence is doing that shows and gives me any indication that he really want to fight that fight. Anybody that Errol Spence has ever wanted to actually fight and was willing to fight, the fights happen. That's a fact. That's not me just trying to shit on this nigga, make him look bad. If you look at Errol Spence's career, everybody that Errol Spence was serious about fighting, when he wanted to fight you, he did everything in his power to fight you, all of his fights. He didn't have to go overseas and fight Kell Brook, but he did. He didn't have to. He could have let that go off on the wayside, let somebody else pick up the IBF in the States. Because eventually somebody was going to beat Kell Brook. He could have let some American fighter beat Kell Brook, bring that shit over here, and then fought that, fought that fight. He didn't do that because he wanted to win the IBF strap. He was pushing the narrative that he wanted to be undisputed. And at that time, he was showing you that when he really want to fight you, he's going to do that. So based on Errol Spence and what he does and what he has done throughout his illustrious career, when Errol Spence really want to fight you, he does. If he really don't want to fight you, he won't. Those are facts, not my opinion, not something I heard somebody else say, something I heard somebody else do, none of that. These are the facts based on watching Errol Spence and how he has moved throughout the trajectory of his professional boxing career. And because I am calling him out on the bullshit, holding him accountable, all that shit, gaining weight in between fights, and you're supposed to be fighting Terrence Crawford next, there's no way in hell we're supposed to see any video of you gaining 20 to 30 pounds since the last time you fought. And then all of a sudden you pop up with a video where you look like you in shape. For all we know, that could be a video from yesterday motherfucking year. We don't fucking know. Because one minute you making videos, you in shape. Next minute we see a video of you, you fat as fuck. Which one is it, Earl? Don't nobody got time over here. Now you got other motherfuckers. I ain't gonna say who because I fuck with bruh. But you got other motherfuckers over there that be doing damage control for you. All that fuck shit. I ain't doing that over here. I ain't doing none of that shit. Then when I said what I said about Carissa Shields and y'all talking about I should be on code, and I hadn't had a few motherfuckers come at me in my DMs on the gram saying I, should, I ain't on code and this, that, and third, and Carissa Shields, this, she, and I need to catch her fade, and blah, 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 blah. First of all, why would y'all even promote that? Oh, you gonna catch her fade, bro. You talking that, you gonna catch her fade. If that's the case, then there's a lot of motherfuckers out here need to be catching that bitch fade. 
Because I'm not the only one that have said something about her in a negative light. Not the only one. So every every male analyst that talk about boxing that has a negative opinion about Clarissa Shields and her not wanting to put her dick up, then them niggas need to see her too. So don't be pulling up on me talking about I'm going to have to catch her fade. Bro, ain't nobody got time for that bullshit because a motherfucker can't handle effective criticism. And I don't tell you niggas, come catch my fade. I actually do the shit. I actually box. I'm a Muay Thai guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? So y'all niggas ain't, y'all talking all that shit and y'all niggas ain't finna come up here and catch no fades. You don't hear me talking about, oh, you talking that shit, nigga. Well, come catch this fade because I really do this shit. You niggas talk. Y'all casual. I don't do that shit. Number one, because I feel personally, I don't got nothing to prove to you niggas. Number two, you niggas ain't even going to come catch this fade even, even if y'all in the same city as me. And number three, you niggas can't see me for real, for real when it come to that square circle, cuz. A lot of you casual motherfuckers, most of you niggas can't do shit in that bitch. I will literally, I will literally not throw nothing for a whole round. I promise you, second round, bro, when I turn up on your ass, you ain't gonna have shit to give. Because you didn't gave it all out in the first three minutes. Because you never realize how long three minutes really is until you actually have to actually do something within that three minute duration. So miss me with that shit. Miss me with all that shit. That on on cold shit. This that ain't no motherfucking cold. You either a fanboy or a fangirl or you real unbiased about this box of shit. Ain't no cold, bro. It's either you sp- you either running the narrative or you not. That's the YTBC. You either running with the narrative. Which is what most motherfuckers do because that's what gets y'all niggas money. Because you got to roll with the nail. That's what's going to get you paid. Or you go go the honest route. Which very few YouTubers do. But all that shit y'all be talking about, bro. That on cold shit. Y'all say, I've been saying that shit since Deontay Wilder, bro. Y'all saying this shit with Errol Spence. Now y'all saying this shit with Clarissa Shields, bro. Bro, Clarissa Shields. And the cold part about it. The funny thing is, when y'all come and give me this criticism, y'all don't even argue me with facts. I said all I said about that girl, and not one person came and argued me fact for fact. Y'all just came with insults and talking shit and saying this, saying that. But not one motherfucker came to my channel and spread saw that video and cut, left a comment that was an actual fact to debunk anything that I said in that video. You should try that. And that's why I don't really say much to you niggas because y'all, y'all don't even debunk what I say with facts. Y'all just come and hear what I say, then y'all start wanting to throw insults and start to want to throw shade and all that fuck shit. Because you can't even argue with a nigga. You can't even come back with a fact to debunk what the fuck I'm saying. Because everybody and their mama know if you even if you a casual fan and you know you have a good idea to sport the boxing, you know Carissa Shields is not on the level of Canelo. So for her to try to compare herself and or career to Saul Canelo Alvarez is as far as boxing is concerned, very blasphemous. You haven't done enough to compare yourself to him. You haven't. So for you to do that, it's disrespectful to him. And I'm speaking as a boxing fan, not a motherfucker that fuck with Canelo. If you feel you've done more than Canelo, then that means you've done more than Terrence Crawford. You've done more than Errol Spence. You're more accomplished than Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Vasily Lomachenko. Like, you outdoing all these niggas. And you not. And that's what I'm saying about you feeling your pussy. Saying that you've outdone Christy Martin, you've outdone Layla Adli and Ann Wolf and the women that came before you and you've outdone them. Nigga, you all right with me with that one. You on point. I ain't no arguments over here. Now, as far as your popularity is concerned, yeah, you not you may be not as been more popular as they were in they in they heyday. I, I'm, I'm you can argue out. Clarissa Shields is not more popular than uh, Layla Ali and Christy Martin. Y'all got to understand, Layla Ali and Christy Martin was popular without social media. They didn't have social media, and they still was hella popular. Still was popping motherfuckers out here. They was popping bitches. You feel me? Clarissa Shields, 
your popularity is, is not even coming from your accomplishments. Your popularity is coming off of the shit you saying on social media and in your uh in these interviews. That's where your popularity is coming from. It's not coming from shit you really doing in the ring. It's coming from the shit that you saying out your fucking mouth. That's blasphemous and disrespectful to the people in the sport. And because I'm coming forth and saying, hey, bro, just pump your motherfucking brakes, it's a problem. Because they nobody finna hold her to the fire for comparing her to Saul Canelo Alvarez when there is no comparison. You ain't done enough. If you're better than Canelo, that means you're outdoing every other male fighter that's active today. And you ain't that bitch, bro. You not. I'd have rather you said... <clears throat> You ain't going to say it because you're going to compare yourself to me. And that's the problem. Black folks don't never want to. Y'all always want to come shit on other races and complain about the racism that you deal with. You cannot complain. You cannot. You cannot change something perpetuating the same behavior. You cannot complain about these motherfuckers, this motherfucker, this motherfucker. But you shitting on them same people. You cannot do that. You cannot say the hate you get and the hate you get and the hate you get, but you perpetuating that same type of hate on another race when it suits you. It don't look right. It don't. You cannot make effective change perpetuating the same behavior. And I know my nigga have a whole heap of whole bitch fit about me saying that, but that is my belief system. That is my stance. And that's what I'm going to go with. Nobody's going to change my my thought process on that. Period, point blank. You cannot get mad at motherfuckers talking shit about you as a black woman when you gonna go talk shit about other Mexicans and other races. You can't complain about racism that you dealing with when you go do racist shit too. That's stupid. I'm not gonna complain about the racism that I got, but I'm gonna be racist too. And then when somebody is complaining about me being racist to them that, that are not being racist to me, I'm going to make them feel like it's their fault that other people that is of his complexion or her complexion is why I'm doing what I'm doing. So it's her fault because she got the same complexion as them motherfuckers. She not doing the offense, but because her complexion is the same as them, I'm going to make her suffer. That's ignorant as hell. Get off on who you mad at. And stop using the Mexican public to promote yourself. If you such the quote, you don't need no, you don't need to talk shit about no man to promote you. You the quote, right? You the greatest woman, right? So you don't need to downplay no man to promote yourself. You don't need to put down the man to make you look bigger. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to do that. If you the quote, if you all this shit you talking about, you ain't got to talk shit about nobody. That's the one thing. As much shit as I say about Floyd Mayweather Jr., that's the one thing that nigga didn't do. He never talked shit about, he never did that. He never did it. Like, now, if you fighting him, oh, yeah. He gonna talk all the shit, get in your head, fuck with you, all that. But for him, I've never seen Floyd go out his way while he was fighting to talk about another fighter to make himself look bigger. Now, I've seen him talk shit about Canelo now unnecessarily just to keep himself relevant in the Canelo conversation. I see him doing that shit now, but I'm speaking up on him in his career at like Carissa Shield is in within her career. Never happened. So why do you need to talk down to a man to make you look bigger? That make you look small because you have to, you have to diminish somebody else just for you to feel and look bigger. But if you all these things you saying you is, you don't have to do that. You are you are enough by yourself to where you don't have to do that because you such a G on your own shit. But because I hold every fighter to the fire, it's a problem. Because it's funny, the motherfuckers that's doing a lot of the fuck shit in boxing is black people. It ain't the white motherfuckers. It ain't the Mexicans. It ain't them. It's the niggas. And because I'm not with this bitch nigga shit, I'm wrong because I'm not on code because you niggas want to hide behind y'all promoters and shit. And I'm supposed to be cool with that because I'm black. Fuck you niggas. It was fuck about none of that shit. Ain't no code. Ain't no code when it comes to that shit in combat sports. When you look at all combat sports, fighters fight. 
The only motherfuckers that make excuses why they can and can't fight is boxers. Kickboxers fight. Muay Thai fighters fight. MMA fighters fight. Bare knuckle boxers fight. The only motherfuckers that's going to make every excuse under the goddamn sun why they can't fight you either because you don't sell out venues. You don't uh you don't sell tickets, you're not popular enough. You a good fighter though, world champion, but you don't sell out venues, you don't put asses in seats, and you ain't popular enough. Only sport they say shit like that. Only sport. You could be a contender, you could be top five in the motherfucking uh sanctioning body, all the shit. If motherfuckers don't know who you are, you ain't nobody. Top five in every sanctioning body, in, in, in top five in uh, all that shit. Top five pound for pound, none. Nope. Boxers are scary motherfuckers, bro. <clears throat> scary. Don't tell me they not. They scary. Because if fighters want to fight, they going to fight. And Clarissa Shields, you ain't got no business talking about dudes to promote yourself. If you have to talk about or shit on men to make you look good, that says a lot more about your character than the men that you're shitting on. And because I'm going to hold you and any other female fighter, it ain't just you, any other female fighter, regardless of her skin tone and or complexion, I'm going to hold you to the fire. Because it was funny how... Everybody saying what I said about Carissa Shields, but now never one of you black motherfuckers said shit about Dana White when he out here slapping bitches. Where the fuck the cold at then? But when Tank Davis, so-called, allegedly do something along the lines, is a video galore about Tank Davis. But Dana White came forth and was proving that this bitch, that this nigga put his hands on that bitch. Niggas ain't say nothing. Crickets, but you want to say something about me when I got something to say about anybody, especially a black person, black folks, y'all are not above the rule of approach. Stop acting like y'all above criticism. Stop acting like can't nobody say nothing about you motherfuckers. Stop that shit. Your shit stank just like every fucking body else. So cut that on cold shit. Ain't no motherfucking cold. A lot of these niggas in boxing is bitch niggas. They hoes. A lot of you YouTubers, you content creators. Y'all niggas is bitches. You hoes. You narrative based. Y'all can only go as far as the narrative allow you. I have free range. I have no, I have no ceiling. You niggas that spit the narrative got a ceiling. I don't have a ceiling, bro. Sky is not the limit for me. I still got space, bitch. One.